academic misconduct. Listen, yo, your parents should have taught you that cheating is bad. Uh, cheating's bad. You, you shouldn't cheat. Cheating, cheating's bad. Uh, listen, yo. Yo, y'all are going to be taking exams online. Is it academic misconduct for you to get together with a bunch of your homies and take the test uh, in a room together? Yes. Is doing that on Zoom, is that cheating? Yes. Is using your notes while you take the test cheating? Yes. <laughs> what am I... How am I going to know? I ain't going to know. All right. Uh, I'm not like I could say, you know, make you sign a I won't cheat agreement. But what, what, like, how am I going to police that? I really strongly urge you to close your notebook, to do the exam on your own, to not give in to the cheatings. Because my dad would say, you're only cheating yourself. And that is the most daddish shit ever to say. I hope I don't say that to my son at some point. But I already feel it brewing. I already moved. Uh, my son's three years old. And, like, I've transitioned very quickly into dad jokes. And it's pathetic. <laughs> um, okay. Um, lastly, uh, special needs. Um, you know, yo, I got a beautiful uh, mixture of ADHD and dyslexia. It doesn't make, like, college easy, but I got a friggin' PhD somehow um, and made it through all that. However, with that said, you know, if you have AEC accommodations or, you know, um, you're having some learning issues with the class, you know, I'm down to accommodate. But if you have AEC accommodations, please just stay up on me about that. Let me know, um, et cetera. I get those notices, but sometimes that stuff gets buried. So really just stay up on that if you have, you know, extra time on exams and stuff like that. Just make sure that I, I know so I can, I can deal with that and make sure you're, you're accommodated. Um, I give you a whole list of resources for, like, affirmative action on campus, um, counseling and testing center, sexual, sexual violence response. These are just for you. The AEC is listed there. Um, but that's that, yo. That's, we're through day one, and that's really it. Um, I hope you don't drop the class. I hope you want to stick around. Um, you know, we have some actually really dope events tied to this class. Um, the UO Hip Hop Jam, which I'll talk about. It's a first year programs thing. Um, so there's 20 students in this class who are in a FIG. First year program, FYP. And we're putting together a concert, which is going to be interesting, and a series of hip hop arts workshops that will be both virtual and in person, and then a small unplugged concert at night. All, all streamable, all virtual, um, as well as in person. So, like, probably going to have like DJs and beat makers and graffiti artists and B boys and B girls come in and do like demo workshops that you can sign up for um, and take throughout the day which should be pretty fresh, or view on, on a streaming platform. Um, but with that said, yo, like, you know, you know, reach out to me, man. Like, you know, I know shit is really crazy right now, you know, with the pandemic and, and everything that comes with that. Um, if you've been on the West Coast, the wildfires have been f fucking nuts. Um just kind of everything and then like you know it's it's a, a, a you know election year which just makes everybody bat shit um and then every you know listen i gotta say this you know i always kind of joked you know about uh my students you know what are their passions Fortnite and trap music you know what i'm saying but i've been so inspired uh, the wind. Whoa! <laughs> I've been so inspired, and I gotta really say this with like young people really grabbing the reins and fighting for social justice, you know, equity in the streets. Man, that shit is just like warmed my heart, brought tears to my eyes. Where I'm seeing like my students at protests, you know, um, my students at, on the front line getting getting maced. You know, all, I, pepper sprayed, you know, all that shit. Um, it's just inspiring. So, like, where my generation fucked up and the generation that preceded me 
you know, y'all are really doing your thing. So I got to give some, you know, respect to that. Um, but I know there's a lot going on. Y'all minds are all over the place right now just because it's just the world is just fucked. Um, you know, but with that said, how do we unfuck the world? You can vote. You can get out there. It's just been dope to see all of the, the changes that are meaningful. You know, names of buildings being changed. Names of things being changed. Uh, you know, um, statues coming down. I mean, all that stuff is like, it may not seem like a big deal, but that's like, huge. That's, that's a real huge start. So it's just, you know, I don't know. Interesting time, you know. Definitely a historical moment in all ways possible but you know you can vote you know and like that's like this is a voting year that's just it's I sound like a dad you know go vote you know people die for your right you know whatever um, but it is it is a thing you know and uh, here in Oregon you know you can just slip a ballot in the mail that shit is easy as pie I love it voting ma- you know mail-in voting is the shit it is the greatest thing in the world with that said I love y'all um, I'm looking forward to this term. Um, I'm sorry you have to listen to my voice and see my, my crusty face on video so much. But um, you know, hopefully we have a little bit of fun. Hopefully y'all learn some stuff. Um, and I'm looking forward to meeting y'all in person, in the virtual or whatever. But um, stay up. Take care of yourselves. Take care of your friends and your family. Um, and stay healthy. Uh, and uh, go Ducks, yo. And uh, I'll check you on the flip. See you on the next set of videos.